So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week two. If you guys don't know, we usually look at these seasonal challenges plus Eververse just to see what they're selling and what to see what the challenges are. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. This won't be a long video. We're just going to be looking at two things. So for the seasonal challenges, the first one is against the shadows. Complete week two of we stand on broken quest. This is not hard. This is literally the seasonal story. Just complete the week two one. Not hard. I can't really explain this. I completed this in like. I, yeah, it's not that hard. Favored Liberator, generate favors and seasonal activities. All members of your current fire team contribute to overall progress. This one's pretty easy. Uh, considering this, I ran it. I ran one thing. That's all I did, and I'm already at 21 favors. So this one's not hard as well. Rohan's Legacy, complete the quest, unfinished business. Also, defeat combatants throughout Neomuna with precision final blows. Bonus progress awarded for using machine guns. I'm guessing this is the one for the LMG, the Void one, um, which you should get. It's really, really cool. And yeah, this one's not hard at all. I already did it. I already have the LMG. It's super, super dope. And the precision headshots is super easy as well. You might as well just use uh, either unfinished business or like an aggressive frame. So that way you can actually control where the shots are going. Uh, the full set in Neo Moon collect and place four action figures. I have not found a single one um granted i didn't even look that hard so i'm gonna go back in and see if i can find some uh but i would recommend like a video because most likely people already have videos for this a loss in the legend complete a lost sector on legend or higher this one's gonna be a little annoying um considering some of the lost sectors are fucking doo-doo butter not like the lost sectors themselves are super dope um just like the legend versions are tough let me just say that uh, Cosmodrome activities in the Cosmodrome earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. This one's not hard considering the week two thing is in the Cosmodrome. So it makes sense that the Cosmodrome is up. Uh, Flourish of power, defeat guardians and mayhem playlists with super abilities. Not hard at all. This one is just kind of like a turn your brain off and just vibe. I'm going to do this probably uh, not today because I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I probably do it like. Oh, I can't do it in the weekend either since the raid is coming out. I'll probably do it tomorrow or Thursday. We'll see. Bank kill repeat. Earn points by banking moats. Uh, defeating blockers and defeating guardians in Gambit. Not hard at all. This is just play Gambit. It, to me, I don't mind it. Gambit's not that big a deal. I think people blow it over proportion. Like, it's not that crazy. Like, it's it's just Gambit. Like, people need to get over, over themselves. Uh, close range calibration. Calibrate close range weapons. Sidearms, submachine guns and shotguns, glaives, uh, and swords in the Cosmodrome bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants. Not hard at all. You can complete this one with the Cosmodrome activities. And yeah, it's not hard at all. And then Hive Slayer, defeat combatants in Vanguard playlists or strikes, earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. So let me see this real quick. Uh, I want to check something real quick. Which of the Nightfalls is it? Hell is bad. Heist battle. Okay, so you could definitely kill. Ooh, that's a, that's actually a pretty good weight. That's the one I'm thinking about, right? From last season. Um, yeah, Heist Battleground Mars. Uh, so this one is from Season of the Seraph. There's Hive in that one. Like, a, like all of it is Hive, essentially. So that one's not going to be hard. So you can complete the, uh, the Hive Slayer. It's going to be super easy. I will most likely... Well... If, if you if it was me doing this, I would most likely either go in to the hero version and just kind of like turn my brain off and finish it. Or what I will most likely do is hit legend. So that way there's no matchmaking and then uh, just kill everything by myself, like uh, kill everything. And then once it gets to like the super duper hard spots, then kill myself and then like do it all over again. So that way I can just finish it faster. Uh, as for Neo Muna stuff, let me see real quick. What is the Neo Muna stuff for this week? Um, partition. Does partition move? I didn't know that. Um, okay. I thought I was going to be a Neo Muna. That's weird. I'm looking for the, uh, the, um, the thing. It's not here. Could be in Europa. Not in Europa. Throne World. Not in Throne World either. Uh, Ness Nessus doesn't have one. Yeah, Nessus doesn't have one. Moon? 
this is weird dreaming city yeah it's in dreaming city okay um so for this one it's gonna be arms uh chamber of starlight isn't as bad like the thing the thing with the neo muno uh, or like really anything from like uh shadow keep and above so hold on let me see sorry if i'm this is taking ta time from eververse but i really want to explain something uh Sabathun's throne world neptune europa basically these three and the moon all have really long lost sectors so if you want to do like an easy lost sector cosmodrome as well actually um if you want to do an easy lost sector you're going to go for the edz the nessus or dreaming city these three have really easy lost sectors because they're essentially one room most of the time they're ro one room so like for example the dreaming city one um chamber of starlight if i remember correctly this one is essentially like two rooms where it's like the bottom and then you hit left and then go upstairs and then the, that's it that's the room um compared to like neo muna which is the new one and if we go to like let's say for this one hydroponics no well no uh thrillodrome this one has like what four rooms i think it was and it's not not only does it have like four rooms but the boss fight's in a completely different spot and i personally think the boss fight is trash like that's the only thing i don't like about this uh this uh lost sector the lost sectors uh boss is horrible it's a hydra and uh i just harpies come out it's annoying so yeah it's uh good luck with that one forever she is selling chit and slate all right i will most likely do a video on this because chit and slate is a very important shader uh, because if you guys don't know, it actually turns off glows. Most of the time it turns off glows. There's some weird glows out there that won't turn off. But this one, like 80% of the time, will turn off a glow. Um, let me just show you real quick because I do think it's super fucking important. Because again, the shader is super dope. And I really do recommend that shader for people to get. So let me see. So as you guys can see, there's no glow on the arms and there's no glow on the on the eyes it it turns it in almost into like a gemstone so very much recommend the chet and slate it's super dope carbon blood also another shader i recommend it's a really good black white and red um with most of the time the white bean not the off color but most most of the time cloth armor so like this looks dope i love this and it also the red is also like super bright and also on the uh like the accents of stuff so this is also a super dope shader. We have Pyramid Entrance. We have Star Devil Predator. Predator? Predate, predator? Predator? Yeah, Predator, right? Which is okay. We have Read the Map, which is whatever. And then at the bottom, we have Spider Projection, which I don't know why I looked at that. Noble Burden, which is literally just a reskin. I mean, it does have like actual engravings and different like uh, mapping of the weapon, but whatever. We have retreads. This is a good ornament for for stompies. If you guys didn't see before, I have um where are you? Yeah, this one. This is my casual stomp hunter look. This is like a look that I've done multiple times. My one of my favorite looks in the game for my hunter. And it all started with these stompies. Uh, because they look like pants. So I fucking recommend those. We're gonna look at the hunter or the warlock and titan in a bit. I just want to get this out of the way first. We have Oki. This ship, which is, it does look cool. Like, let me just get that out the way. It does look really cool. Ooh, that sh with this shader it looks cool. Mm, wish that shader looked good like that in real life. Uh, stow the rings. Oh, because you're about to get enough. Ooh. Oh, it's not forever. That sucks. I would have picked it up if it was forever. Dubious Correlation, which is Season of the Arrival. That's a while ago. Swirling Leaf Entrance. This is from last season. This is also from last season. Uh, Champion Entrance. This is such a unique one. Yeah. All right. So, Miss, Miss, Mistophosphor, I whatever the fuck this name is. This is a pretty good shader. I just will never use it just because I don't... I don't see the need for me to ever use this shader. I'm not a fan of like this. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like the animation in the shader is cool, 
the colors are cool it's just that it, it's too gaudy i guess that i would i would never wear it uh nectar dynamo i don't like the shader either it's it's a purple and red and i don't think purple and red go together like personally uh neo pop wave if you want to have some some new uh neo muna uh inspired shaders you should definitely pick this one up it has a uh, blue and pink and black it's a good shader uh this came out in season of you know the worthy i'm pretty sure that shader is and then golden age wine which is <laughs> this is not a good representation of this shader man it's not this good it's not this good it's because it has yellow as for the titans bellinus boosters for the line rampants is what you guys got interesting because i actually think these look super dope and if you want to go for like a gundam look these are like the one to go for because they do look really cool for a gundam look and as for the warlock lace striders for the luna faction boots is what you guys are getting which i would recommend this if you if you're going for like an osiris look because um spoiler alert i'm pretty sure osiris wears these not these exact same ones but like damn near these so pretty interesting i I fuck with it. I fuck with a lot of things. We are going to be, I'm still going to get all of the new, well, these. I'm going to be getting the new armor pieces for Eververse. I'm going to buy them uh, because I want to like recuperate my Bright Dust because I I completely fucked up my Bright Dust the uh, last few seasons because uh, I ended up getting a Christmas uh, set, which I usually don't do. So that's what really fucked me over. But yeah, I will be getting this most likely this week because i do get paid next week and i, I got uh, yeah i got paid uh last week so i'd still have money but uh, it feels dirty buying these when i can just buy them like with bright dust but again i want to recuperate some of this so that way uh i can start buying some other stuff but yeah let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later